Hey everybody, it's Troy Saxmeyer here. It's March still in Iowa, March 25th, and um, the frost still hasn't come out of the ground. I've been trying to practice for spring turkey hunting. One of my biggest issues that I've been having is I usually shoot outside and I usually stick my arrows right in the ground and then just set my bow on the ground. Well, I happened to see a pretty neat stand on, uh, on the internet this week and I decided I'm gonna go ahead and build it so I have a place to put my arrows and a place to hang my bow when I'm shooting. All right, the first step is you're going to take your inch and a half PVC and cut it to 16 inch length. You're going to need two of those. So cut this to 16 inches, put a 90 degree oval on it. We're going to do a dry fit pretty much of everything before you glue everything. After you get your 16 inch pieces together with your 90 degree elbows, the next thing you're going to need to do is have two T's. These will be used later for the arrow rest. And uh, each piece is going to be approximately two and a half inches in between each one. So I'm going to cut three pieces at two and a half inches. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut those two and a half inch pieces now. What I got here is just a reciprocating saw with a steel blade in it, fine teeth. Works pretty good for cutting this PVC. Next, I'm going to take those two and a half inch pieces. We're going to put them in the 90 degree elbows. Two T fittings facing up. The last two and a half inch piece right between them. All right, the next pieces we're going to cut, we need two pieces at five inches. There'll be a T section here, and this will end up being for the bow holder. So we take the two five inch pieces now, we put that in the T. Put that into your front of the face. All right, next we're going to make the upright for the T for your bow holder. Uh, my bow, the Hoyt bow, is uh, I'm going to need 33 inches of clearance. Most bows are 30 inches to 34 inches axle to axle. This might be actually something you're going to have to adjust, so you're going to have to measure your own bow. All right, after you cut your upright for the bow holder, depending on your size of your bow, we're going to go ahead and put a T on top of that, and that goes in your front. The front of the stand where there's only one T. Okay, so we're going to build the T section up here. What I did is I cut two more pieces at four and a half, uh, and then you need a cap. Put the cap on that four and a half inch piece. We're going to put that in there. Put it in here. This will be a place for you to hang your bow. The next portion we're going to build is the arrow holder. There'll be two of them, so you and a friend can shoot, and you have two bow holders also. What I did is I went ahead and cut two pieces at 16 inches. So once you get these pieces in for your arrow holders, the next part is probably optional. I don't know, it kind of cleans it up a little bit. They make these little collars that just kind of clean that cut edge up, make it look a little nicer, and so that way it isn't abrasive on your arrows. Glue here, it's pretty user friendly. I uh, wear rubber gloves, I have them around, it's not necessary, but if you're working with chemicals, it's always a good safety measure to, to use them if you have them. Um, just remove your burrs, and go ahead and be liberal with the, the primer, just put it on, make sure you get it on both of the gluing surfaces that you're going to be putting together. Then take your glue, don't be stingy. Need yourself a big framing square, the bigger the better, and a nice big flat working surface. So go ahead and get your primer on there. Make sure you glue both parts. We've got a little bit of working time here. Put your square on the flat surface. So this is what it should look like if you follow the instructions and get it all put back together the way that we, we talked about. Um, the arrow holder looks like it would hold at least close to probably a dozen arrows. So that's sufficient for storage and you get two bows on there. It's pretty simple. You can go ahead and paint it up or decorate it however you want. I'll probably just keep mine plain. All right, now that we got it built, let's give it a test run. Cold outside, ground's frozen. I need to get ready for turkey hunting, so I'm doing some shooting inside my house. Uh, 
I probably don't recommend this, but no one's home right now, and hopefully I don't put a hole in the wall. At the end of the video, I'll have a build list for you for this bow stand. Hope you learned something, and happy shooting. Thanks a lot for watching.